today on Be Something Wonderful. The missing link to manifesting anything you want is hiding in plain sight. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Good morning here from Las Vegas. We're in our studio here Saturday morning. Big session yesterday with a client that I first spoke to about six months ago. And, and at the time, he's a social media expert, SEO optimization, really good with uh, all, the, all the platforms, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook ads, optimizing things, all of that. And he had been working in, in positions and companies doing that as a social media expert. But he really wanted to go out on his own. But he had a lot of questions, a lot of fears. He was, uh, he was applying the metaphysical processes, law of assumption, imagining, and affirming, and all that. And, you know, he had questions there. He was, he was wondering if he's doing it right. Is the, his imaginal scene... Is his imaginal scene correct that he's imagining him successful? He was imagining himself working in his studio at home. He was imagining people congratulating him. All of that was going on. At the same time, he was going, but maybe I'm not qualified enough, or maybe I don't have enough money. Looking at, do you see it? The, he, was, he was caught in all sorts of conditions. Conditions thinking that he's got to get the exact conditions right, the, to, the processes and techniques of the law of assumption or create his own reality, plus the outer conditions of whether he's qualified or whether there's enough money. And then the other conditions of thoughts and feelings. He said he's all over the place, doubting it and then fearing it. He goes, he goes, he goes I don't know what to do with all those thoughts, right? And then others doubting him, saying, well, you know, do you really want to leave that paid job? So we had the whole sub, the, the whole sub, subjective subconscious, the fears of everybody around him, the race consciousness, mass consciousness, also creating fears with him. He was dealing with all of that. And I said, none of that's the key to what you want. The key is what the, the ancients called the open secret. It is that inner conviction within you, that inner assumption of your beingness, that I am that. That's the only thing that it, that's the only requirement, if you even want to call it a requirement or a condition, to manifest anything you want. All that other stuff will fall into place. All the metaphysical techniques and, and affirmations and processes and all of that, the imagining, the state akin to sleep, all of that falls into place as it comes from that inner conviction that you're already there. Right? Remember, creation's finished. In those conditions, in terms of whether you're qualified enough, there's nothing more qualified than I am. <laughs> I am is qualified for everything, right? It doesn't, those outer conditions don't matter. It's your inner conviction, right? And then those random thoughts and feelings, those subjective tendencies to doubt, to fear, have no power unless you give them power, unless you believe them, unless you identify with them as reality. They are not reality. They're just thoughts and feelings about reality. None of it's reality. Those are just conditions, experiences of reality. You are the one and only reality. That's what we got at. And so he's, he's out on his own, doing well, right? It's, it's growing. He's really happy. And this is what he wanted to talk about. And, and then, of course, on the... On this session, it was more about a specific person, someone that he's seeing. But, but we talked a lot about the business that we had talked about, that he's already doing it. He's living that now. He found the missing link. The only requirement or so-called condition to manifest all you desire is your conviction. The love of what you do. Remember, I am is absolute love, but it's also absolute conviction of being. So follow your bliss with that conviction of I am that. That's why Joseph Campbell said, follow your bliss, that, that Bashar, the one that the, the, the Daryl Anka that channels Bashar, says, follow your highest excitement. That's why they say it. That's the open secret. I am that. It is the, this is what Ernest Holmes in Science of the Mind says. It is the deep inner conviction that we carry which decides what's going to happen, meaning what's going to happen where? What's going to happen in your 3D physical linear experience of reality? 
right? How you're going to experience that, that reality, how you're going to experience the ultimate reality. It's your conviction, your truth, your facts, your assumptions. There are no facts. Those are others telling you that, that maybe you shouldn't leave your job and that's just their fears, but they're your fears too. That's why you're hearing them. They're your assumptions pushed out or they were his assumptions pushed out. They're no longer. That's why you're hearing them. That's why they're just mirroring your own fears. Your truth's the only one that matters, right? Remember, imagine it. Sure, a state akin to sleep. Get in that drowsy state. Create an image, right? Put yourself in the action, right? Feel it real. Imagine yourself already that person that you want to be. Imagine yourself already doing what you want to do. Create that, right? It could be an alpha state where, you, where you're not in a state of kind of sleep, but just a very relaxed state during the day where you just close your eyes and create that frame of reality. Create that image. Remember, all images exist, so you're not even really creating it. You're receiving it. Isn't that cool? You think you're, you're creating it, but it's already there. So you're just, you're tuning in like a radio, right? You're corresponding with it. Right? You're resonating with that image that already exists, that success that already exists, that real reality of you already succeeding in your business. This is what he did. But remember, the power wasn't in that. Right? The power is not in, in any specific affirmation or process. The power is within you. The power is in the implication of it. What's the implication? That you're already that person you want to be. Right? Remember, the power and potency is not in the scene or imaginal act but in your inner conviction that I am that I am. I am God and there is no other. Be still. Don't identify and believe those temporary fleeting thoughts of doubt and know that I am God. That's what be still means. It means don't identify and believe those temporary fleeting thoughts of doubt and know that you're God. Don't believe in that, those, sub, those subjective tendencies. Right? That, that great subconscious that everyone talks about reprogramming all the time. Don't believe in that. Right? Those thoughts will come and they, 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 they and thoughts, remember, all thought exists. They're not even your thoughts. Every thought that ever was, is, or ever be exists. Every feeling, every movement, every frame, every image reality already exists. You decide what you're going to do from that inner conviction. Affirm, announce, claim your new reality. Then surrender to its fulfillment now. That's what Neville got it meant by surrendering to your wish fulfilled. Surrender to it, right? Those subjective tendencies to doubt yourself, right? To fear going out on your own. All those thoughts that come up that are contrary to what you desire or what you really want, they're out there, right? Those contrary thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and assumptions, but they have no, hear it, no power unless they're given from above. This was Jesus' message to Pontius Pilate who said, what, when, when Pilate's trying to talk to him, Jesus doesn't answer. I am doesn't answer, doesn't believe in those thoughts, doesn't identify with them, right? And, 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 and Pontius Pilate says, well, don't you know I have the power to release you or crucify you? They do have that power if you give them that power. Of course, Jesus answers, you have no power over me unless it was given from above. Right? Unless it's given from that I am. That is, unless you identify with them as I am not who I desire to be. Either you are or you're not. Right? Simply and gently stop giving them airtime. Right? This is what Jesus also said in John 10.30. I will no more speak, speak much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming, and he has nothing in me. He has nothing in me. Hear this. The ruler of this world is coming and he has nothing in me. In other words, Jesus speaking to his disciples, right? But think of it, that's your, that's your mind, that's your disciplined mind, the thoughts, the, the, the tendencies of the 3D world to, to come up, those thoughts of doubt as you analyze the situation, as you analyze and go, wait a minute, I'm not qualified or I don't have the money or those thoughts of doubt come up. Jesus says, I, I'm no more speaking much with you. Because the ruler of this world is coming and he has nothing in me, meaning the ruler is all those thoughts of doubt, the subjective tendencies of others saying you can't do it, right? Uh, that, that, it, it, that it's a big risk. You should stay where you are, right? All of that. Jesus says that, that, that the ruler of this world, though, has nothing in me, meaning that it has nothing to do. It, it can't harm 
or influence or move me when I'm in that conviction that I am that already. That's what Jesus is saying here. Those subjective tendencies of doubt, fear, and limited experience cannot move you. They have nothing in you. They have nothing there. I love that quote from Jesus. And that was Jesus, your I am, to his disciples. In other words, stop struggling to flip thoughts and feelings and analyzing your conditions, both inner and outer. As you struggle to work your way up the emotional guidance scale, right? Deductively feel better and flip thoughts and flip feelings or feel better about your conditions that maybe I'm not qualified. Maybe I got to get more money. Maybe I got to get more education. Maybe I got to get more expertise. None of that matters, right? And remember when, when Pontius Pilate's trying to speak to Jesus, Jesus, are you not speaking to me? Do you not know that I have power to crucify you or power to release you? Pontius Pilate, the 3D conditions, the subjective tendencies of the 3D world, of that mass consciousness, of that race consciousness, trying to influence you, that great subconscious trying to influence you, right? And, and, and all those thoughts of others, right, that are not even yours, they're already out there. And I, they have the power to crucify you or set you free if you give them that power. Otherwise, you know that you already are free right? Not unless the power and authority is given from you above. I am. In other words, the 3D world thought of fear and limitations have no power unless you believe and identify with them, unless you resonate with them, unless you correspond with them, unless you vibrate with those assumptions and ideas. In other words, unless you're conscious of being that person who resonates with those doubts and limitations, you get to decide. So big here today. So Ernest Holmes in Science of the Mind, he meant, he's talking about Jesus. When Jesus um, was talking, about, when Jesus said this, this is what Ernest Holmes is referring to. I will speak no more much with you for the ruler of this world is coming and he has nothing. He meant that race suggestion found no mental correspondence or equivalent in him. His consciousness was so clear that it operated directly from spirit. Directly from spirit, what is that? Directly from I am, right? This is why Lester Levinson says, go all the way to I am. It has, he, he meant that race suggestion, all those doubts and fears that are out there in that great consciousness, right? That exists, remember all thoughts exist. Or even your friends mirroring your assumptions that are deep within you, right? Or others, that they, hadn't, they found no equivalent no correspondence, no vibration in him. His conscience was so clear that he ought to be directly from I am. I love that from Ernest Holmes. <clears throat> but your analytical limited 3D mind will not want to let you go and rest in fulfillment, right? It just won't want to let you go, right? Just like uh, Jesus with his disciples when he says that he's going to leave them, right? And then come to go to the Father. And they go, you're going to leave us. That, that, in other words, that analytical mind, the disciples didn't want to let them go. They don't want to let you go. That 3D limited thought, those doubts, those fears, they, they're in fear, right? They don't want to let you go and rest in the fulfillment that I am that already. This is why Jesus said to them in John 14, 28, you have heard me say to you, to his disciples, discipline the mind, to your mind, right? That inner conversation, that inner speech, that conversation that goes on within you. I am, you have heard me, so this is Jesus, right? You have heard me say to you, I am going away and coming back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice because I said, I'm going to the Father for my Father is greater than I. That's the I am, that's the your inner speech, your inner conversation, you imagining yourself already that person you wanna be, you're going away, right? Preparing a place in your consciousness and then it coming back again as it manifests and as, it, as, you, as you manifest and experience that in 3D reality. That's what Jesus is saying, right? What, why are you fearing? Right? What do you, why don't you want to let me go? You've heard me say to you, I'm going away and coming back to you. I'm coming back, right? I'm going, I'm rising in consciousness and then becoming that version, that ideal version of me, that I am, that ideal. And then I will be back in, in, in that new version of myself, in, that new, in the new me. If you loved me, you would rejoice. You would say, yeah, way to go. Because I said, I'm going to the Father for my Father is greater than I. In other words, I'm rising in consciousness to the great I am, right? Where all potential exists, 
right? I, I have nothing to fear because everything's worked out. That, good, that higher ideal, I'm moving to that higher ideal within me, right? My higher self. I, I don't have to worry about these inner, these temporary inner conditions of thoughts and feelings or the outer conditions of not having enough money or trying to get the processes right. I just give it and surrender to that higher will, to the Father, to my higher self. Wow, that's powerful because it's greater than anything I could ever conjure or think of doing in 3D reality, right, with my 3D linear mind. There's only one law in power. I am who and what I assume, claim, and announce to be. That's the only law. That's good to know because if there's only one power, only one law, then there's nothing that can get in the way of what you want. If there's only one source and you're that source, then there's no source of poverty. There's no source of failure. There, there's no source of illness. You're the one and only source. So that, that you, and you're the, and that is I am. You're the, you're the ideal. So there's no opposite. I am not does not exist because non-existing existence is impossible. It doesn't exist because it, non-existence is impossible. So I am not does not exist. It's not possible to say I am not. So here's, there's no law of poverty. There's no law of sickness. There's no law of lack. There's only one law and that's abundance. And that's prosperity. That's perfection. That's, that's your ideal, right? There's no other power, but I am love. Absolute reality. There's no other law, but love. So, so this means there's no opposing power. There's nothing opposing you. It's all you. You get to decide. You are source. There's, a, there's no opposing power. There's no other source. There's no other law outside of I am. That's the conviction. That's the open secret. That's the missing link. Nothing was ever missing. Right? It, it's I am is the only requirement. Going to the Father is the only requirement. Right? In other words, rising in consciousness to that ideal, that who you already are, because there's no power stopping you. The most powerful thought, this is what Ernest Holmes says, is the one that carries the greatest conviction with it. Well, what's the thought that carries the greatest conviction? I am. I am that. It's your state of conviction. You, you, it's not about holding thought for somebody or sending thoughts to anybody. Right? All thoughts connected. All, and there's only one reality. There's only one unity. There's nowhere for anything to go. It's not about flipping thoughts. It's about who do you say I am? I am that I am. I am is absolute faith and conviction of being. It's the one and only, as Ernest Holmes says, changeless reality. It's a changeless reality. It's the one and only. Right? According to your faith, let it be done to you. In other words, Jesus saying that in every handling, right? he said something like that. In other words, according to your conviction, according to your I am, let it be done to you. Right? Your faith has healed you. Your I am has healed you. Your conviction has healed you. That's what Jesus was trying to say. Go your way. Let it be done for you as you have believed, as you have been convinced, as you have have declared with I am, be still and know. That's the missing link to manifest anything. It's been hiding in plain sight. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for joining our Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors, at facebook.com groups slash be something wonderful, for joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, for joining our, our membership channel. There'll be another video, I think, coming this weekend, and then a live stream planned. I'll be announcing that soon for our membership channel. If you're a member, thank you for joining. If you're not, just join us. There's a link below. Creators, with great love, with great light, and infinite gratitude, this is Tom with Be Something Wonderful in the studios in Las Vegas. Until next time.